Okay. So, are we ready? Yeah. Oh, Pocket Man's here. Okay, cool. Ooh. Chat's back on. We're not alone. I, I will always be here. That is, is that a threat? <laughs> Sounds like it. I feel like that's a threat. He just wants us to know this isn't all in our imagination. Ah. Oh, <clears throat> I like things. I grabbed the wrong thing. Like that up there. That makes more sense. Okay, cool. We ready? Yay. Hello, ready? everybody. Huh? <laughs> okay. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Anime Survivor episode 38 Evangelion versus King of the Hill. Why? Because why not? And we hate anime. Uh, now, <clears throat> no, no, these are these are uh, two of the greatest anime ever made. That is, of course, you know, we can't count Jackie Chan Adventures because, as we all know, that is ascended beyond art yeah, and is that, therefore be, no longer legally be, be anime. biased. And we can't count Avatar The Last Airbender because uh, fucking no, it's from the 2000s. America. It's from the 2000s. So really, really, that leaves us with Evangelion and King of the Hill as the two greatest anime of all time, finally duking it out to see which one is going to be the best at Survivor. You guys ready to see the tribes? No. No. Blake, yeah. are you ready? Okay, good. Because so we're doing it. So do here's our first tribe. This is the Evangelion tribe. Uh, we have returning players Asuka, Shinji, and Optimus Prime. Uh, okay. For those of you who are unfamiliar, Optimus Prime is totally an angel or an Ava or whatever. Prove me wrong. Like yeah, what, I'm... Ava Unit 007? Every, everything I've heard about this show, that makes sense. Okay. So that's what we got. Um, our new players are Gendo Akari, who is uh, being a schemy bitch. Kawaru Nagasa. I don't know. Blake, you do this. You you know Evangelion. These are your people. <laughs> So um, <clears throat> Gendo is that uncle you don't want to leave in the room with your kids. Um, Kawaru Nagasa is that friend who's just a little too into massages. Uh, Misatu Kutsurugi blah, cannot say her name. She's the one who talks a lot about what she's doing, but we all know is going to end up the night with box wine alone. <laughs> Um, Optimus Prime is absolutely the first angel that's never shown, but we all wish were in that anime. Pen Pen and is perhaps one of the greatest characters of all time, if not outranked by Lady Bird and Bench. Rei Ayanami, uh, she's just that blank friend you have that turns out to be a clone of your mother. We've all been through that. Ritsuko Akagi is a human resources problem waiting to happen who also smokes too much. Ryoji Kaji is also a human resources problem waiting to happen, who also smokes too much. And Shinji Akari is just a whiny, self-loathing little bitch that nobody likes, but yet somehow carries the whole show. That, that checks out. <clears throat> um, and Blake, how long until Shinji and Kaworu fuck? Um, I mean... It just depends on what consent is like on this island. Okay. Okay. So is it time for the King of the Hill tribe? I think so. Okay. So did you guys look at the cast assess the cast list before? Hand? I have not actually. No, you hadn't. Blake, did you? Yes. Okay. But you didn't give me stats. No. No. Uh, well, you piece of shit. Anyway, so this 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 joke will be good for you. Andrew won't get it since he's never seen King of the Hill. Uh, here's the first half of our King of the Hill tribe. We have uh, Bill Dotry whining patriotically. Bobby Hill eating some chips in his underwear. Dale Gribble launching the pocket sand. Hank Hill pimping it up. Boomhauer playing Wonderwall on the banjo. And then, okay. Blake, are you ready for this? I'm ready. Are we, are we getting we have WD-40? Con Supernusophone. <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it, but I'm amused. <laughs> <laughs> it's so appropriate. G Gary, how are you? How excited are you that Khan is here? So appropriate. He is just so superior. <laughs> and then, 
<laughs> and then we, of course, have uh, returning terrible player Ladybird, noted comrade of the revolutionary movement Luann, Peggy Paddle Hill, who is probably into Yaoi, and, of course, Truck Coon. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Goonercroft. So, <laughs> Andrew, who are you rooting for to win this game? Well, um... It says here my contract. I have to root for Truck Coon. Okay. But after that, I, I don't know. That haircut on Khan, that's a lot of hair. I don't know if I can go against that. That's fair. He's been quarantining for centuries. Blake, who are you rooting for? Um, the only one you could ever root for in any contest, which is Pen Pen. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> loser. Okay, Gary, who do you got? Wow. Well... My loyalty normally lies with Ladybird, but in this contest, I think I'm going to have to go with Khan. <laughs> that's that's the spirit. Yeah, no, I mean, Khan is here for a reason. I'm obviously... It's the hair. Yeah, it's the hair. I, I'm rooting for Dale Gribble. Um, I think he's going to blind his opposition. <laughs> and if I can't root for Dale, I'm, of course, rooting for revolutionary comrade Luann. Blair. Wait, wait, we're, we're allowing pocket sand? Yeah. Oh, that's dangerous. There's man. always pocket sand. <laughs> uh, well, okay. Just make sure all the contestants have signed contracts saying they can't sue us for injuries over no, pocket that's, sand. That's not our problem. We'll mm. ignore that uh, someone actually got medevaced for getting sand in their eyes in actual Survivor. I mean, I'd like to point out that the reason Shinji is in that pose is because Dale's already used pocket sand on him. I mean, that checks out. Why would you waste pocket sand on Shinji? I, because I, he's being whiny. You want to make him sadder. Is that even possible? Definitely. Anyway, let's let's proceed. Uh, Asuka finds legacy advantage. That's cool. Good for her. No one cares. <clears throat> it was her mother. It's okay. I mean, it's always her mother. Oh, and Andrew, I have good news for you. We're not doing that fucking season where um, it always goes to rocks. Woo! So the Evangelion tribe wins immunity. Uh, they have to do a puzzle with 50 pieces, which makes sense. I'm pretty sure nobody on the King of the Hill tribe can count to 50. Like, they're, they're not a smart tribe. Like oh, You I, are vastly underestimating Ladybird. But she can't communicate with the rest of the team to tell them how to do the puzzle. No, she cannot. That's she is true. a dog. Unlike Pen Pen, who can speak fluent English. To be fair, Ritsugo, uh, Ritsuko just did the puzzle herself. Like, oh, yeah. They didn't have to help her. No, they don't need shit. Like, anyone on that tribe is smarter than anyone on the King of the Hill. Like, the dumbest person on the Evangelion tribe is still smarter than the smartest person on the King of the Hill tribe, even Shinji. I was going to say, Shinji has something going for him. Yeah, finally. So uh, Masato is impressing the rest of the team. Was was she sharing the box wine? Uh, yeah, she had brought the box wine in her blouse and was just like, here you go. I've got four boxes somehow. I, it works. It's just fake. Her, her boobs are just box wine. Yeah, I mean, though, didn't we just allow box wine? Because Psyduck always. Oh yeah, yeah, you're wine. right. That's no, no, that's in Psyduck's contract. Misato doesn't have that. Misato. Uh, there we go. I miss. I missed that. I let you do all the contracts, Max. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is what we keep you around for. Yeah, she also bands with uh, Ritsuko. Oh no, wait, they have a fight. Blake or Less Gary? Good. Who who has a better? Who's better at them fighting? Oh, uh, clearly Ritsuko. Uh, Misato right now, I guarantee you, is crying in the corner and wondering where her shoes are. Okay. <clears throat> and then we have an alliance. It's Misato, Pen Pen, Ritsuko, and Ryuji. So even though they, they have a fight, they're still working together. Oh, sure. Because they're, for the most part, except for Pen Pen, they're all functional alcoholics with raging anger complexes. So is Pen Pen just there to, like, lower their stress levels? Uh, Pen Pen's there to abuse their lack of coordination. That checks out. Okay. Yeah. No, whatever works. So King of Hell Tribe, they're the ones who are going to tribal councils. So let's pay a little bit more attention here. 
So, uh, Bobby and Con Bond. I know nothing oh, about Bobby. Con, so I'm going to need you guys on this. And someone's well, static -y and that's bad. Uh, not it. I think it's Gary. Yeah, not it. Gary, you're static -y. Try moving your phone away from your wire, bud. Try moving your wire away from your mom. Anyway. Oh, shit. Blake, what's what's Bobby doing with Con? Well, you know, Bobby has severe self-esteem issues, and Con is willing to wear a face a fake chest plate, as that actor did do in that movie, in order to bolster his own sense of superiority. And Bobby can really identify with that sense of fake confidence. I mean, so then Bobby would be good friends with George Michael from Arrested Development. Totally, except I will say with Khan, though, he's enough of a lunatic to still stab someone in the eye if he has to. And I think there's a certain degree of fear there to also keep Bobby in line. Mm -hmm. And we have an alliance. It's Bobby, Boomhauer, Ladybird, Peggy, and Truck Coon. Yeah, Truck Coon. Yeah. Yeah, that's a that's an alliance. We did it. Let's isekai some people. I mean, I'm kind of upset. I want Truck to get isekai'd, but that's always my dream. Don't you think? I mean, of all of the people here, the only one he can really isekai is Bobby. Or, I don't know. Or he'd isekai, isekai Bill, and Bill would be reincarnated as a 16-year-old. Yeah. But, you uh, can isekai that... anyone. Whether they become a hero or another loser in the next life is up to them. Could, I mean... could we call their alliance Paw Patrol? Sure. <laughs> Sure, it has it has a car and a dog that checks out. <laughs> but someone's going home. And I think it's Paddle and Peggy Hill. Isn't yeah, she no. on the big alliance? Maybe I forgot. Yeah, I, I totally forgot too, but let's check again. We can do that. We have computers. Whoa. Yeah, she what? is, you're right. It's Bobby right. Boomhauer. Okay. I it's gonna be I think it's Hank. I think, I think it's, it's Bill. Bill. He's just so awful. I as, know. He... as he whines patriotically. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can get behind a Bill. Well, the first vote's Luann. Mistake. Bobby, Luann, Bobby, Luann, Luann, Luann. Luann's voted out eight to two. Goodbye, Luann. You know, this is fine. It's not it's... they're not her votes, they're our votes. With the only person voting with Luann was Hank take, trying to take out his son. <laughs> He's like, you got an alliance that I'm not in? That's not mm -hmm. okay. But, yeah, no, Luann going home is brutal. I feel like, I mean, while she's not a good, like, tribe comp competitor, she's got good, like, social. Why would anyone take her out? Anyway, she's gone. But Hank did try to take Poppy out, which I appreciate. So, so should should we wait for Pokemon to pick who he's rooting for again? Nah, that that's too nice. We're not nice people. I mean, by the time he picks, they'll be voted out anyway. That's true. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we have an alliance. Pen pen. We got an alliance. Uh, King of the Hill wins immunity, though. So maybe Luan uh, was bringing them down. I think Khan and Lady Bird really drove up their chances. Okay, let's be honest. Late, late. All of Lady Bird's comp stats are like twos. She's not good at this. Uh, okay. Khan and Khan Hank. She's great moral support. Yeah, she's a dog. Khan and Hank are definitely like the comp carriers for this tribe. Because mm. <laughs> I, I think outside of Khan has an intelligence of five. And I think like one of them has an int of three and then everyone else is two and below. They're not a smart tribe. Gendo finds an idol, Blake. What's he going to do with it? <laughs> <laughs> um, if I know Gendo is going to turn it into a nifty vehicle for his children, it'll secretly turn out to be his wife. Checks out. Yeah. So I mean, isn't he also going to tease Shinji with it? Yeah, I really hope he takes Shinji out with the idol. That is, of course, my dream. Um, so 
Then Asuka fights with Pen Pen. Do you think do you think it's like a red hair thing? Like Pen Pen's clearly dying those eyebrows, right? Uh, I think Pen Pen was just asserting dominance. Yeah. Asuka does not like that. No. She is the one who asserts dominance. Yeah, she's she's calling bullshit and everybody's like, don't worry, Pen Pen, she's just mean. Checks out. But uh Ryoji did Hello. leave the alliance with Pen Pen, so for what that's worth. Well, he's always been a bit of a double agent, so mm -hmm. he doesn't like to stay to one side. No, he doesn't, but he joined Gendo, which is... Well, he likes power. An option. Oh, the taste. On the King of the Hill tribe, Bill has a fight with Dale. <laughs> you know... That that seems like it could happen. Yeah, this is just oh, over just totally about happen. anything. Well, this is where we found out Bill's a QAnon believer. Oh no! <laughs> no, no, no. Here's the thing. Okay, Dale would also be QAnon. No, you know what I think this is. No, no, no. Bill would be Q. No. Oh shit! You're right. Because Bill works for the military, and he's in too deep. He's a barber, but yeah, they'd think he's Q. Or he'd think he's Q. Yeah, he thinks he's Q based on things he said. Or Dale thinks he's Q, and Dale is actually an Alex Jones supporter, and Alex Jones fucking hates Q. Therefore, Dale hates Bill. There you go. It could also be that Bill flew a thin blue line flag, and Dale was not having it. That's true. Also, Donald, welcome. Glad you could finally join us. He said hi, right? I heard him. I swear. I, I heard him, too. OK, so I think we're having just one of those collective hallucinations. OK, so he's dead to us. He's still cooking dinner, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's been three weeks and he's still cooking dinner. It's a feast. Should, should I go cook dinner? No. Hey, can you guys hear me? Yeah, now we yeah. can. Yes. Oh, OK, cool. So, uh, Donald, we would like to note that Comrade Luann has already been voted out. Oh, no, Luann. <laughs> the member the of the revolution, Luann. <laughs> yeah. And that's, that's all you've missed. But uh, B Bill's also in a fight with Boomhauer. Now, now, it can't be the thin blue line thing because Boomhauer is a Texas Ranger and therefore believes blue lives matter. So he has to be fighting with Bill over something else. Do you think Boomhauer fucked Lenore? Or Governor Ann Richardson? Well, Governor this is a minor disagreement, not a major one. <laughs> I, I have a 70% uh, certainty that, that Bill had a, a drunken run-in with Governor Ann Richardson probably 30 years ago. No, canonically in King of the Hill, there's an episode where Bill and Governor Ann Richardson date. Oh, OK. And then and then Lenore shows up and then he breaks up with Ann Richardson to be with Lenore. And then she was just like, I'm fucking with you. I'm Lenore. So. Wow. You got to get your your King of the Hill facts together, Donald. I don't know why you're even here. Well, uh, I'm more of a I'm more of an Evangelion person, the King of the Hill person. OK. I mean, yeah, I, I'm just disappointed we don't have the WD-40 can. <laughs> well, I mean, it was between that and Truck Coon. I think you all wanted Truck Coon. No, with with that logic like that, I even I can't complain. When Truck Coon has a meltdown, I think no. I, I think he's upset that they're trying that uh, Newsom mandated all new cars be electric by 2030. Yeah, because he is definitely. Or, or or Hank tried to run some propane through him, and he's just not going so well. Checks out. I think yeah. it was the propane. Anyway, a uh, new alliance forms between Bill, Bobby, Hank, and Con. I would call this hairspray. Hank would never be part of an alliance named after a musical. Yeah. I, I was mostly pointing out the aspiration to have Con-style hair, but sure. I mean... Bill, Bill would do Khan's hair. Uh, Bobby would definitely be in. And Hank, I guess Hank's, hanging just, out. Hank's just there to protect his son from Khan because, I mean, like, it's fucking Khan. Yeah, I, I, I agree with how 
that. Okay. Donald hasn't reacted yet to the fact that it's <laughs> Star Trek Con. Well, Con's all, you know, obviously the one keeping the outfit together. <laughs> How yeah. else could you get Bill and Hank to hang out with Bobby? <laughs> Uh, there are a lot of ways. Mostly Bobby does something dumb that Bill's into and Hank's trying to protect Bobby. <laughs> I guess in this case, it's mullets. Anyway, uh, someone from the Evangelion tribe is going home. I mean, it's Shinji, right? Yeah, Shinji. Okay. Or Optimus Prime. Why would it be whoa, Optimus whoa, Prime? Whoa, but whoa. Hey, like, why, Blake, why are you taking shots at Optimus? Shinji went home nine to one, Blake. I took shots at Optimus because this group has a lot of issues with its vehicular travel. Okay, so this this time Shinji did not run away; uh, he he was forced away. Yeah, they all said congratulations and then kicked him out. Yeah, <laughs> I mean that's what was happening as he got voted out, right? Congratulations! Yeah. Congratulations! Forgot to cue that. Up. I'm so upset with myself. <laughs> <laughs> this is the worst day of my life. They're just excited they get to keep their bodies and their souls. That is important. Very important. Khan finds an idol. Yeah. I am 90% certain Khan's going to win this season. So, so I like I like to point out that the idol he found was a latest recording from a little-known artist called Bill Shatner. Here's the thing, Blake. I unironically like William Shatner's music. So do I, but I, I've got to believe that Khan would be obsessed with Captain Kirk, even on an island. That's fair. I mean, Kirk has played anime Survivor before, so. There we go. Anyway, uh, King of the Hill wins immunity again. <laughs> oh, go King. Now that now that Khan's uh, really carrying them, isn't he? Now that communism is gone, they've got it. <laughs> I'm kind of upset, honestly. Mostly Wait, because wasn't this, huh? Wasn't the context for, for Khan's origin story that it was like some kind of like weird like communist uh, secret lab uh, uh, breeding people, or or was, or was it something else? Uh, so his origin was these genetically enhanced super soldiers that were well, not super soldier, but human being that were created in the Third World War in order to more or less have countries competing to have a better shot at winning, but inevitably led to genocide because the genetically superior wanted to murder most of the normal folk. Right, so I knew about the Eject the part. I didn't, I didn't know what the what the goal was. It was the goal of the creation was so that they would have better leaders to more or less win the war. Ah. Yeah. And then it just led to better murder machines to kill themselves. Guess so. <clears throat> The real bummer here is Ladybird's not getting voted out yet, so Pocketman's uh, curse is lifted briefly. <laughs> Just uh, good news for Gary, I guess. Yes. Yes, it is. Okay, so Asuka's impressing the rest of the team. Do you think she finally asserted dominance over Pen Pen? Yes. Okay. He did it. Uh, Ray has a major meltdown. Here's my take. Someone stole the bread from her. She has no more toast. That sound good. Or does someone want to? I think one of the DPs is a clone, and she didn't realize she was a clone, and she wants to know why all of the camera people look like her. <laughs> I mean, th that's a cost-cutting measure. Well, sure, but she had no idea. Uh, that's fair. <laughs> Anyway, uh, Bobby finds something in common with his father. <laughs> they take turns grilling the meat. They catch a fish. Hank is generally upset that they have to eat it because he doesn't believe in eating fish, fish or vegetables. Bobby grills it. Hank's impressed. My alternate explanation is uh, Hank catches him smoking and then makes him smoke a whole pack. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Don't smoke yeah. like that. It's uncool. Accurate. I believe Donald is correct, Max. Okay, so they have lung cancer in common. <laughs> anyway. Um, oh, yeah, we didn't talk about who we thought was going to go home, but it's too late now. I already started scrolling. 
Oscar Ray, Oscar Ray, Oscar Ray, Oscar Ray. Wait, this is the best girl off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which girl is best? We're about to find out. Either that or there's a, a plot to get rid of the pilots first. No, here's the th Yeah, OK, it's probably an anti-pilot alliance because, I mean, if it's the best girl off, why isn't Misato not receiving votes? Right. Well, no, the, the, uh, Mifado and Risco are next level best girls. They're, they're not in the same. They're not in the same weight class as so, Oscar and Ray. So we're seeing which one between Oscar and Ray promotes uh, to Masato and Risco. Exactly. Okay. And then Optimus Prime is in the level above that, right? Yes. Okay. Um, and Ray is voted best girl. <laughs> The tribe has spoken. Everyone loves Ray. <laughs> and was absorbed into the body of Lilith. Mm -hmm. Delicious. I Wait, can't believe there has not been a robot chicken episode parodying Evangelion yet. Oh, yeah, that is shocking. That's gen. Yeah. Okay, so Gendo, Kawaru, ugh. Optimus Prime. It's Kaoru. Kaoru. I don't give a you shit. Sleep. I'm white. <laughs> Uh, and Ryoki voted for Ray. So that's cool. So, uh, yeah, I'm honestly shocked Evangelion's getting rolled like this. I thought their tribe was way better than the King of the Hill tribe. Okay, well, okay so have, where you're wrong there yeah, is yeah. that Evangelion is full of these backbiting motherfuckers. Yeah, uh, who are all just hormonal at each other. They don't know if they, if they want to, you know, kill each other or fuck each other or, you know, first one in the other. Uh, so well, at the same that's, time... that's, that's the, wait, are you unfamiliar the... with the Bill Dale dynamic from King of the Hill? Oh, I, I know of the dynamic between, you know, Bill Dale, uh, uh, Hank and Boomhauer. I know I know of the dynamic, mm -hmm. but they, as you know, they have more social cohesion than any two or three characters in Evangelion. That's I, fair. I also you... like to point. I'd also like to point out that the other problem that Evangelion is having is that Gendo is still there. He is a walking reminder of systemic trauma that's going to have them on edge until he's gone. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And Kaji to his, to a lesser extent. Yeah. So, Donald, who are you rooting for? We didn't establish that yet. Oh, Asuka. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so is she your best girl? Yeah. Okay. That's a, a sure. Uh, she has an advantage, so that's pretty cool. No alliances, though. It, it, no, if I had to take the cerebral take on this, it would it would be um, uh, Misato, mm -hmm. just because she she knows what the fuck she's doing, and she, like she knows she knows how to she's able to rent an apartment on her own. <laughs> she she is a functioning adult to some level. Exactly. A true accomplishment. That's actually a pretty high bar. I mean, that's show. better than I am. She's a functioning alcoholic, mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, yeah. she actually has that in common with, with, with Hank and the boys. So I'm just surprised she's not going to be uh, in an alliance with those folks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she'd probably get along well with them. Okay. Well, um, cool. They, they win a reward, they get meat. Hank is upset. But their grill probably doesn't have propane, so I think Hank's, Hank's actually fine with it. Yeah, we did not have propane. We only got charcoal for him. We, they, Hank they had accessories, though. That. But then King of the Hill wins immunity again. They should have propane. He'll, he'll eat charcoal meat. He'll just be upset that it tastes better than, uh, you know, uh, the other kind of meat. Well, he only ate it because, oh, yeah, he did. He did secretly shamefully eat charcoal after knowing he was doing it. <laughs> He, he tasted the heat, not the meat, and realized that uh, he couldn't handle the kitchen or whatever. I don't know what metaphor I'm going for here anymore. But, Can't um, build a house without breaking a few eggs. Yeah. <laughs> Checks out. I'm not I'm not the uh, most colorful tool in the box. Well, you need protein to build muscle and eggs are a good source of protein. Eggs are delicious. And you need muscle in order to build a house. And you need a house in order to be a functioning adult. I brought Here it go. back around. Misato eats her eggs. Yes. But she does abandon Pen Pen. 
I think Pen Pen has like a college level education, mm-hmm. so it's not really that big a deal. You think Pen Pen can function on its own? Uh, yeah, I, actually, I think Pen Pen's been secretly paying the rent the whole time. Yeah, no, I mean, t- to be fair, Masato is Pen Pen's pet. Pen Pen has a permit for her to be in his apartment. Wait, so so you're saying that it was Pen Pen's apartment, but Masato just brought Shinji home and Pen Pen didn't object? Uh, pretty much because Pen Pen figured he could turn Shinji into a cleaning maid. Mm-hmm. Pen Pen's work. fine as long as everyone is serving him. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And push comes to shove, Pen Pen could get rid of the litter, you know? Yeah. Plus, if he gets hungry, he can always eat Shinji. Yeah. Yeah, that's why everybody keeps Shinji around, actually. Mm-hmm. That, that does he, seem like a good option. He's food storage. Anyway, Dale and Hank bond, so that's pretty cool. It's not. They kind of hate each other, to be honest. Use the pocket da- Dale counseled him on how to defeat the beast in terms of adult film rentals. I was going to say that Dale just loaned Hank a towel. But I think they're both afraid of bees. That's probably true, but Hank wouldn't show it. No. Like, sh- showing that you're afraid of bees is what cowards do. That's what Dale I mean, does. What, what happened is Hank freaked out about bees and did not want to be seen crying, so Dale covered for him by throwing pocket sand in his face. <laughs> really helping him out. Yeah, that works. Yeah. And uh, Bobby and Boomhauer like are getting a fight. Oh. Oh. Yeah. That sucks. Do you think do you think Bobby just doesn't like banjo covers of pop songs? How could that be? Everyone likes banjo covers. I, I, he made the no, mistake. Bob, Bobby likes pop covers of banjo songs. <laughs> Bobby can go straight to hell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all about the banjo covers of pop songs. Anything else is heresy. Bobby, you can go straight to hell. OK. But real question, who in contemporary music would do the best cover of Big Rock Candy Mountain? I, I don't know. I don't I don't listen to Carly Rae Jepsen. I don't know. I'm hearing I'm hearing Orville Peck. I'm going to be honest. The, the only musician I listen to that is relatively popular is Carly Rae Jepsen. Hold on, my cat threw up. <laughs> Well, apparently she, the cat doesn't agree with Max's opinion. The cat does not want me to call it. <laughs> Ew, it's so gross. But uh, Truck has abandoned the alliance of... Truck! Uh, Why? Truck Truck has left Paw Patrol. Why would you do this, Truck? And you were the alliance chosen Con. one. Con is just fucking everything up. Anyway, someone from the Evangelion tribe is going home. It's not Truckoon. That's all that matters to me. I think it's Ryoji. Asuka. Why is it this color? It, it's the color of cat vomit, Donald. It's Asuka. Okay, Asuka. Let's see. Uh, yeah, Gendo uses his idol. You guys don't get it. It's like a dark, semi-colorful gray. Uh-huh. I don't know which cat threw up. just not describe this to us. That's true. We could mute him. <laughs> anyway, uh, yes, I'll get some hairball treats. Gen- Gendo used his idol and received one, two, three, four, five, six votes. And uh, Optimus Prime is voted out. No! With one vote. Two votes. Uh, no, two votes. Yeah, Ryoji joined Optimus Prime and vote in joined Gendo in voting out Optimus Prime. So Truck Kun may still be here, but his transforming side is gone forever. Optimus rolled out. Yeah, the Autobots assembled. So we're at the okay, swap. I think it might have been Birch he threw up. Huh. I think it might have been my black and white cat who threw up. Oh, okay. That's important. We're so thrilled. We are. So thank we. You. Thank you for informing us of this. We had a swap, everybody. We have some new tribes going. All right. All right. We have the Evangelion tribe of Oscar, Dale, Hank, Boomhauer, and Ladybird. 
Oh, that's extra rage. Excellent. Or Lady Bird. I have, a, I have an important question for you, Gary. Who is the best girl between Asuka and Lady Bird? Lady Bird. Okay. That's a, a hot take. And, uh, Andrew, Asuka or Lady Bird? Uh, you know, that's a tough one. I'm going to have to say Lady Bird. Okay. Blake, Asuka or Lady Bird? Asuka. <laughs> and Donald's going to pick Asuka, so I'm the tiebreaker. And I will vote. Or neither. I mean, Max, look at it this way: you'd pet the dog, you wouldn't pet the redhead. That's true. Yeah, you're you're right. I'm on Team Ladybird. I don't know. It depends. Is the redhead stalking you? No. Doesn't that make it worse? I've I've, I've been stalked enough. Well, I'm good. Max, is it legal for you pet, to pet the 14 year old redhead? That's why I'm picking Ladybird because she's a dog. And that is legal. Anyway, on the King of the Hill tribe, we have uh, Kawaru. I don't. I can't do it right. Apparently, Kauru, Kauru, Khan, Ritsuko, Ryuji, and Trukkun. This looks bad for Trukkun. Well, but at least he's with Khan. He's with Khan. They're an alliance. Khan has an you idol. Need to win all of the competitions. Yeah, but um, they'd target Truck before Khan, like without a doubt. Sadly, yeah. Yep. And uh, the final alliance, Nerve, is a 3-3 split. Bill, Bobby, Peggy versus Gendo, Masato, and Pen Pen. Uh, Bill must be so happy to have finally isolated Peggy from Hank. <laughs> time for him to put on his moves. Yeah, but Gendo's going to spend most of his time trying to convince her to join his program. Oh, yeah, no, G Gendo's straight going to gank Peggy so then he can turn Bobby into an Ava pilot. Exactly. 100%. Bobby's that emotional instability that Gendo craves. So will Bobby's Ava be good at substitute Spanish teaching? <laughs> <laughs> no, you know of what? course not. It'll be it's good at Peggy. paddleboarding. It'll be good at paddleboarding. I'm, I'm not good at paddleboarding. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, so Boomhauer and Ladybird have an alliance. That's the only thing going on in the first tribe. In the second tribe, Khan has the idol and an alliance with Truck Coon. Yeah. And then in the third tribe, we've got Bobby and Peggy, Bill and Bobby. So those are the two alliances. So Bobby, you know, if Bobby gets Bill and Peggy on his side, he's eating? got control. Huh? Sorry, my cat's trying to eat paper. <laughs> What's wrong with that your cat, like Donald? Cat. I did. I gave him more. <laughs> anyway, we have uh, sorry about that, guys. No problem. Stuff happened, and the Evangelion tribe is going to council, where Asuka is absolutely fucked. Bye, Asuka. Bye, Asuka. Should have been Ladybird. On the King of the Hill tribe, Kauru is impressing the rest of the team. Who does he hit on? Is it Khan? Oh, a hundred percent. Okay. He saw that hair and went, yes. Yes. And got out his favorite comb. It's it's better than Shinji's hair. Oh, a thousand percent. It's hard to not be better than Shinji's hair, though, to be fair. Yeah, Khan is the closest thing to be shown in, in Evangelion. <laughs> what? Max, you don't you don't know the word Bishonen? I don't remember it. No, uh, it's basically what Sashoburu is. Oh God damn it! I hate everything. I hate everything. It, it's it's like a a male anime character who is so pretty they uh they they break the uh the norms of gender. Okay, yeah. Like Ronald Dums Drumsfeld. I don't know. I mean, whenever I made like fake dumb like. Fake DeviantArt accounts to troll people. My account was normally some variation of Sashomaru. So, checks out. Or Sashomaroth. That was what I used to watch. <laughs> <laughs> and then I, I posted, like, aggressively so he, bad Naruto. Is he the one-armed angel? <laughs> and then I posted aggressively bad Naruto fan art. 
Wait, you mean you posted an official Naruto <laughs> manga? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, it was very, it was, it was a great time for me and my friend. Like, I don't remember what we were trying to do with that account. But it didn't last long. God, remember when you used the internet on different websites that weren't social media websites? Yeah. Uh, to be fair, DeviantArt is a social media website with just pictures in it. it it's Instagram for degenerates. Yep. And uh, Truck has abandoned Khan and then reformed it all. <laughs> Truck couldn't have to go get gas. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <sighs> and cigarettes. That's, a, that's an odd one. Mm -hmm. Bobby finds an idol. Oh, Bobby. I'm so happy. I'm so fucking happy. You know, for our next Good Boys episode, uh -huh. we have to get Lou Dog from Sublime in here. You mean the band Sublime? Yes. Uh, is that one of the singers? No, Lou Dog was Dalmatian of the lead singer. Yeah, that sounds important. I think you're right. We should do that. Yes. Yes. Bobby gets in a fight with Pen Pen. <laughs> now, there can only be one team mascot. Here's the thing. Like, we all know Pen Pen is very aggressive and likes to assert her dominance, his dominance. Pen Pen is a boy. I Googled it. Um, but Bobby has an alliance with Peggy, has an alliance with Bill, has his own idol. I think the power is going to his head. I think and, they're playing Minecraft. He yeah. Pen Pen broke Bobby's favorite thing he built. No, no, no. Everything went to Bobby's head, so he went up to Pen Pen, shouted, that's my purse, I don't know you, and kicked him in the nuts. <laughs> then took his Game Boy back. Good on Bobby I mean, to be fair, Pocket Men, the whole plot of Evangelion has cast members of Evangelion just being slowly picked off. Yeah, it's true. I, I'm going to be honest. I'm kind of shocked King of the Hill is doing as well as it is so far. But yeah, I'm trying to remember because, yeah, and um, Blake, you, you remember the Batman Freakazoid season. Batman just ran the gambit on Freakazoid, right? Yep. And then Bionicle Lego. Bionicle wrecked the Lego movie. Sad, yeah. And he, here it looks like King of the Hills running over Evangelion. And <laughs> sure, they have a truck, it makes sense, but I wasn't seeing this coming. I thought it was going to be the opposite. Like, we <laughs> might have had a couple of King of the Hill characters go kind of deep just due to, um, like, them starting to backbite once we hit a merge, but I, I thought they were going to run the challenges early. Well, the reason that, you know, even Gellin's getting run over by truck is because in the, Tokyo 3, they have good public transit. Mm -hmm. They don't they don't really need traffic, you know, it's true. Also, remember that in Tokyo 3, when you're above ground, you're in danger. So they're in a constant sense of terror because there's no basement or underground facility on the island. Mm -hmm. uh, Gendo bonds with Pen Pen. Let's, uh... Does has Gendo killed Pen Pen's parents? Is that what's going on here, or what? Has Gendo oh, found their small to. life form to exploit? I mean, clearly. I think I think Pen Pen and Gendo recognize that they're both good at manipulating those around them. Yeah, and they're aligning to, you know, double their powers. Gendo on a creepy level, and Pen Pen on that adorable yet fear-inducing level. I mean, Gendo should be working with Bobby then. He's the clear kingpin here. Yeah, but that's not going to last. Uh, you don't know that. I mean, Bobby is just bonded with Masato, and sure, she just sees a, a boy in need of a strong parental figure and adopts him, but like... I'll say it again, it's not going to last. That's fair. I mean, Bobby, Bobby's just trying to get them anime titties. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that's a Bobby strat. This is true. Yeah. <laughs> that's Bobby's strat. Anyway, someone's going home from the Evangelion tribe. I think it's Ostaka. I think it's Asuka. I think it, well. I think it might be Asuka. I don't know how you can tell this, Max. Uh, Asuka goes home in a three to two vote. Well, well that's honestly, closer than I was expecting. Yeah, it is. She's Hank. got list by Ladybird. <laughs> D Dale voted for Ladybird. Dale. Wow. Dale. Shocking betrayal. 
Yeah. To be fair, Ladybird probably shit on his lawn. But uh, he got the legacy advantage out of it. So Dale probably doesn't trust uh, dogs and after politicians. Yeah, that's that, that's true. That's probably a very specific rule that he has. Yeah, though, though also Dale might have voted with Asuka to get the legacy advantage. Like that could have been his play. Like, I mean, he he's a he's well, a like, conniving legacy man. Legacy advantage public information. No, maybe she told him. It, it is it is now Dale's turn to pilot the robot. Oh, it's Dale. Oh, no, Dale. <laughs> that is scary. Sh 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 stop. <laughs> Looks bad. Avian 2 uses pocket sand. And the worst part is Dale had told Asuka that he really wanted to get to know her mom. <laughs> Hank has an idol. <laughs> Hank and Bobby both have idols. <laughs> Boy. We've done it. <laughs> The Hill Clan is complete. Is is Bobby's idol that creepy um, doll he had? Uh, the uh, ventriloquist doll? Probably. No, it's BTS, the um, K-pop band. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby would love BTS. All 15 members? All 15 members. Yeah. He just keeps them in his pocket. All 25 members? <laughs> All 86 members. And Bobby's going to tribal. <laughs> It's time, everybody. It's time. So, Dale's got a legacy. Hank's got an idol. That tribe's not going to cancel. Who gives a shit? The King of the Hill tribe, Khan still has his idol. Truck Kun has abandoned him again. That is literally all that has happened. But that oh, makes truck. sense. Khan lives in a future where you don't need a gas-powered car. So, Truck is dead to him. Yeah... Hate, and then but it's true in nerve bill gets in a fight with bobby baba uh my my is guess bill taking a fight with everyone bill bill is an, a disagreeable human being <laughs> yeah this is fair my He's guess is very that, upset the election was stolen yeah i mean that's true my guess was just gonna be that like bobby's like yeah he thinks he, he thinks ron paul should be president yeah no, Bill Bill wouldn't vote for Ron Paul. Like in in what, 2008 or 2012 is he voting for Ron Paul in your scenario? Oh, uh, he no, he, he thinks Ron Paul is running. Oh, cuz I feel like in 2008 Bill would have voted McCain. And in 2012, I don't know cuz there wasn't a military person running. So, Sant Santorum or Gingrich? I don't know. In 2016, who cares? So, yeah, I don't know. Okay, sure. B Bill's, Bill sucks. And Pen Pen's upset. <laughs> Why is Pen Pen upset? Uh, Misato made a mess of his apartment. <laughs> and she ate all the potato chips. Rude. But Pen Pen forms an alliance with Peggy. He likes a firm authoritarian he can control. That's fair. That paddle is very intriguing to him. Yeah, but Peggy quickly becomes his right hand woman and paddles anyone he does not like. OK, so we officially have a string of alliances in the tribe. Bill is with Bobby, who is with Peggy, who is with Pen Pen. That's not Pen Pen has bonded with Gendo all. and Bobby has bonded with Masoto. God, she really likes those little kids, doesn't she? Yeah, she does. I think Gendo goes home. Unless they vote out Bill for some reason. Any other it'd be, takes? It'd be too good to be true for Gendo to go home. I think it's going to be Bill. Okay. First vote, Pen Pen. No. Gendo. Okay. Bobby. Why? Gendo, Pen Pen. Gendo is voted out in a 3 2 1 split. Who the fuck voted out Bobby? Gendo voted out Bobby! <laughs> Gendo could have tied the vote, but instead he doomed himself. Oh, Gendo. Mm -hmm. 
and that is why he is gone. We're already down he, to he five. He just had too many plans. Yeah. Couldn't too many keep plans. Himself into a corner. We're already down to five Evangelion characters. This is just a, a slaughter. So let's see if anything's happening. Nope. Nope. And not yet. Anyway, uh, we have some rewards. No one gives a shit. That's right. So is Texas where third impact happens? Texas is where we're going to have the fourth impact. Or maybe it was the first. I don't know. I don't remember. I like the last time I watched Evangelion was like 2006 or seven. So. Yeah, it's been a long time. Yeah, so long. Oh, yeah. Don't, did you, don't did you have to read a wiki article to, to you know, bone up on your lore or something. Why the fuck would I do that? Well, you know, surprising a lot about the show for someone who hasn't seen it since 2006. Yeah, I had to Google all the characters. Um, <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. What was the question here that you can't remember? I, I haven't watched Evangelion since 2007, so he's suspicious why I, rem why I got 10 characters. Uh, I mean, you just really like my preferences and know that I've watched it far too many times. I'm here for you, Blake. Donald, who are you rooting for? I realized it has gone. You never changed horses. Um, Masato now. OK, a man of taste, I see. A man of culture. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I forgot what tribe is going to council, so it's just going to be a fun, a fun game for us. Kaoru bonds with Ryoji. How how how's this go? I, have, I don't have the slightest idea. Of course you don't. It's Evangelion. <laughs> I mean, both and like these aren't sweaters. characters from the memes. So they, I mean, the so thing Ka is, they're so Kaji thinks that uh, that Kaoru, uh wants uh, tips on dating one of the girls, mm -hmm. um, but he doesn't know that Kaoru's just making goo goo eyes at him the entire time. He's he's just a totally oblivious straight guy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, great. And Unless then, this is the Netflix translation, in which case it is the fake excuse. But Kaoru Ritsuko uh, picked up Truck Coon, so. Woo! <laughs> Truck has been in so many alliances already. This is fucking would, nuts. Would we call this Magic School Bus? Yeah, this is Magic School Bus. 100%. So happy. Ritsuko. Well, he be... might be shit, but he is, uh, he's driving everyone around town. Yeah. And then uh, Bill leaves whatever this alliance was. Hairspray. Bill leaves Hairspray. <laughs> What's Khan going to do without a barber, guys? Uh, I mean, we're already seeing it. We need yeah. to note that Hairspray is now an alliance of Bobby, Hank, and Khan, and each one of them has an idol. That's a, that's a pretty good alliance. That is terrifying. <laughs> then Ben Ben is medically evacuated. <laughs> Well, no, that happened. Not pen pen. Rip. Gosh. Okay. At least we're, we're saved the trouble of a uh, pen pen being being voted out. Okay, so we've hit the merge tribe cruel propane thesis. And uh, so far, my boy Dale's still in. Uh, Gary's boy in. Ladybird still in. Andrew's boy Truck Coon still in. Blake, who the fuck were you rooting for again? Oh, I was rooting for Con. Uh, I was, I was rooting for Pen Pen, and now I'm lost. Okay, so um, do do you want to go back? What? Jack, Kate, Kate, do we have to go back? Anytime anyone says lost, I am uh. <laughs> Obligated to make the lost reference. Uh, yeah, we have to didn't go watch back. that god awful show, so I don't know the reference. Well, that's your fault for not being part of the cultural zeitgeist of the mid aughts. Yeah, yeah, okay. I wasn't a part of that either. So, well, y'all suck almost as much as Lost sucks. So, I'm yeah, lost. I never watched Lost. <laughs> it's fine. It's you are alone. It was bad. But uh, without Lost, it? we wouldn't have a lot of the TV we have now, I think. Lost and Heroes failed, so everything else could succeed. 
Wait, didn't so, Lost coincide with the writer strike? Probably at some point. But uh, Lost was bad before the writer strike. Like, they, did, did Lost cause the writer strike? I wish. The writers all got lost. Yeah. Anyway, Blake, who the fuck are you rooting for now? Pen Pen's gone. Pick pick a fucking side. Uh, I guess I'll have to root for Kaworu because I appreciate his creepy sternness. You mean Kaworu? I will f- screw up the pronunciation if I choose to. Donald, why didn't you prote- why didn't you correct him? You know, I didn't feel the need to after doing it twice already. Okay. <laughs> so only when I do it. Oh, well, I know I can get away with it when, when you do it. I hope Kaworu goes home next. Just to spite you. <laughs> I, mean, the... I mean, here's here's the thing, Max. With you, I think he feels the need to correct you because you don't get that it's the wrong pronunciation. With me, it's just a lost cause. So, Also, Max talks the most, so it makes sense. That's true. Yeah, it no. is, it's my job to talk the most. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to talk the most? No. Okay. <laughs> I just wanna, I was, I, and we're just here to edit you. Okay, that's fair. I don't I don't think you're good at that. When it's just me and you, it gets really weird. <laughs> I mean, we're the, we're almost there too. Sure. We have so many things. Okay, we'll We've got what what were we calling this alliance again? <laughs> of Bobby Boomhauer, Lady Bird, and Peggy. This just looks like a folk band. Oh, this uh, was Paw Patrol. Okay. Because they had Truck Coon and he left. Would it would it just be down without a paddle now? You mean without a paddle? The movie? Yeah. Down with a paddle, you mean? No, I'm still I, I I'm still for Paw Patrol. Okay. We've got Lady Bird and a State Ranger. So I think it's still Paw Patrol. And a young impressionable child to be taught that police are good. And Peggy for some reason. <laughs> To enact disciplinary action whenever Bobby thinks cops are bad. Yeah, that's the only way to teach them. It's Paw Patrol. Yeah. Yeah. And then we have Hairspray. And then we have uh, the Magic School Bus. Con wins immunity. <laughs> Shouldn't be surprising. Why uh, not? But still, still fun. Yeah, still fun. Ryoji impresses the rest of the team. Dale impresses the rest of the team. Do you think the two of them did a play together? I think they, they did both... the same play, but separately. <laughs> what was it? I don't know. The tragedy of Darth Plegius. No, the they lies. didn't. They, they each did Avenue Q by themselves. <laughs> and then uh lady bird has abandoned paw patrol yeah she understood that we were calling it paw patrol and she just wasn't in anymore honestly i'm shocked she's still here <laughs> Sorry, so is it now bird. just the carceral state huh so th- is that group now just called the carceral state no we're still calling it paw patrol I don't care if the dog and the car are gone. It's Paw Patrol. But someone's going the, home. The Jackson 5 oh, without Michael Jackson. Uh, I, I will humor Lacuna Craft by, by saying, Son Goku no Tenshi no Yoni. Yeah, I'm just going to say it's not going to be Truck Coon. I think it's Lady Bird since she just left Paw Patrol. But I hope yeah, it's Kaoru probably. because, you know, I don't care. So, Ryuji no, and we, we do know leaving alliances is really dangerous, so I'm going to agree with you there. Yeah, but I think Ryuji and Masoto are also reasonable picks. Oh, well, let's let's find out who gives a shit, right, man? No one plays an idol, thank goodness. First vote, Ryoji. Ryoji, 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 Ryoji. Ryoji, Ritsuko, Ryoji. So Ryoji is voted out unanimously. Wow, that was a uh, that was a rough vote for him. That's life, man. What what we didn't know is he's been sexually harassing all the Ray clones. 
Blake, we didn't mm. need that. And apparently we truck really did. We, we didn't need that. Um, we didn't need any of this, Max. But obviously Bill would be upset about that and vote him out over it. So I'll yes. take it. Yeah. I'll if we're going based on it. if we're going based on need, I'll get a solid group therapist right now. I would love a group therapist. <laughs> Please. <laughs> but we just had three three alliances. This is great. It's like family it's like the Brady like, Bunch. It's like Hollywood Squares. Yeah, it's Hollywood Squares, but Bobby's in two of the squares. <laughs> You know, one He's of the got square a finger in every pie. Yeah, Bobby, Bobby, I, I still think Bobby's the kingpin of this game. I don't even remember who I was rooting for anymore. Oh, Dale, yeah. God damn it, Dale, get in a fucking alliance. Dale, Ritzko, and I, sorry, Dale, Misoto, and Bill are still unaligned. Along. To be fair, Dale is trying to refill his pocket sand as we speak. Yeah, everyone thinks he keeps going out for idols, but really he's just going out for more pocket sand. <laughs> like, is Dale looking for idols? No, man, he's just putting sand in his pockets like a fucking idiot. Hank wins immunity. Good for him. Ladybird has a meltdown. Do, do, you, think do you think Hank hasn't pet her in several days? <gasps> no. No. Yeah. Who, who the fuck is I mean, eating? <laughs> not it. It's Blake, isn't it? Uh, not right now. It was me before. Oh, uh, okay. Damn, I was wrong. I give up. Uh, Khan and Masoto Vaughn slightly. They both have fantastic hair. I mean... And also, Khan is very good at making a drunk feel important. So maybe they go to the same stylist. Yeah. Well, Khan walked up and went, I like your jacket. They're also and both military officers. That. There's just so much going on here. But uh, nothing comes of it. They're just bond a little bit. You know how it is. I mean, Khan walked up to her, walked up to her, and said, "I will be the instrument of your destruction." And she was like, "Cool, I work for a guy just like you." I still think she's going home. Oh, for sure. Masato just doesn't have anybody here. And instrument of me. your destruction, human instrumentality project. Mm-hmm. One pays okay. your bills. It does. We'll find out. Uh, no one plays an idol. First vote, Dale. No. Let's go. And he immediately threw sand at his. Yeah, he just <laughs> throws sand at Ritsuko. <laughs> Shaw! <laughs> Ritsuko, 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 Dale. Boomhauer. Boomhauer. Spicy. Boomhauer. Boomhauer. Dang it, Boomhauer. Boomhauer. Boom. Boomhauer goes home 6 4 2. The banjo will only take you so far in life. The devil went down to the Fijian Islands. They were looking for a ranger to steal. Well, and he was in a bind. We're way behind trying to make a deal. Well, we, we got him a deal. We got a great deal for it. He, okay, he voted for Dale. And Peggy voted for Dale. So they could have tied it by voting for Ritzko, but they didn't. So this is like, Boomhauer voted himself out. You know, this works out for Boomhauer because he just got that call about Miss Sally. Mm -hmm. Boomhauer got bored. He was done playing Survivor. He wanted to go back home and... Uh... Wait, have Act you guys all seen the Miss Sally episode? Which one's that? that that's the one where um, Hank and uh, Bill um, yeah, got drunk and drove his favorite car into the quarry. Oh, shit, I remember, at, yeah. As, like, teenagers and lied about it. And then they find the car in the quarry 20 years later. Yeah. To totally unrelated to that episode, though, I think the other reason why Boomhauer got bored was because he was originally assigned to this game in the hopes of finding Yoshi to force him to pay his taxes. No, <laughs> Boomhauer doesn't work for the IRS. No, but at a certain point, the IRS are out of their depths when it's been over 20 years without paying your taxes. That's true. They should have they should have gotten Bill. Yeah. 
His name's Bill. So that uh, honestly, that Yoshi would be suspect immediately. You know, if the IRS ever gets involved in this, then it would make it would make perfect sense to have um, uh, Bert Gummer in here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I prefer Bert Macklin, FBI, but okay. Have you guys seen the newest Tremors movie? Why no. would I fucking do that? No. <laughs> I okay. So I watched it until they went. I don't feel good about this hunt. It doesn't feel like another hunt, like the other ones. And I was like, I'm fucking out. I can't. I cannot watch this alone. Mm, you got scared. I don't blame you. So I need like five other people to make fun of the movie with. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Yeah, that's fair. So it's on my list of movies to watch with people in person once the pandemic is over. Like, Gary, we're going to watch Llama Apocalypse or whatever that was, right? Oh, of course. Or did you already watch it without me? I have not. Okay, good. I also still haven't seen Velocipaster. Oh, that that one's a piece of trash, and I know that. I, I saw, like, the first two or three minutes, and I was in love. Yeah. Because instead oh, of his my parents, brother could give you a list. If like you want his parents movies. died in an explosion, but instead of the actual explosion, it just said insert car explosion graphic here. And I was sold. Max, have you seen Iron Sky? Yes. Oh, God, yes. How about I the haven't. second one? Yes. Oh, the second one second is even one's worse. Fantastic. Okay, good. Just making sure. I, I also I know that's knew where the that we would have communist Mars. Like, like. We were watching Iron Sky 2, and before it got to the closing credits, I was like, I bet I bet they're going to end with, like, Communist Mars. You know what's funny? Jack had just had um, a, uh, a profile on John Carpenter and how well his movies aged. When do you guys want to watch some John Carpenter movies? I fucking and, love The Thing, and I love Big Trouble in Little any, China. Anytime. Anytime. Like the, I think the first John Carpenter's movie I saw was The Thing, but the first one I saw that actually I realized had John Carpenter's name on it was John Carpenter's Vampires, which was really good for a vampire movie. That's a low bar, but glad he could clear it. So did Rodriguez cleared it, too. I think, um, fuck, whatever vampire movie he made with Tarantino and Clooney was pretty good. Because it was just so fucking dumb. Ugh, okay. You, you can't stand by that? No, God, no. That was a uh, terrible movie. Uh, I think I think if we cut the first 20 minutes, it's a lot better. <sighs> I've, I've seen vamp- there's enough vampire movies out there that are actually good. That no, there not- aren't Blake. They're vampire movies. They're all shit. That's not true. It's got you there. The Lost Boys is pretty good. I haven't seen it. You haven't seen the Lost Boys, Max? No. Uh, I wouldn't it's... qualify that as good either, but it is better than what you just listed, Max. I mean, to be fair, I don't even remember the name of the movie I'm trying to cite, so... It's one of David Sutherland's crowning achievements, and he was, like, in his 20s. Fuck. Good for him. But what what has he done for Anime Survivor? Well, he didn't vote off Lady Bird. It's true. Uh, anyway, so, okay, at this point, since, since Paw Patrol is literally just Bobby and Peggy, I guess we need to rename it. Um... What, what what do we call it? Spanish Over is in? Time? I don't know. From Dusk Till Dawn. Oh, yeah, I haven't seen this one yet. It's, I enjoyed it. It's very dumb. Just know it's dumb. I, I heard Brother Media just described it as uh, a, a movie that didn't know what genre it was. It thought it was one genre, and then it got surprised by being a different genre. Yes, it definitely does that at least once, if not twice. Okay. Um. Yeah, the the first 20 minutes are so unnecessary for the rest of the movie outside of like character development. But you get a huge genre shift pretty early in. And yeah, I don't I don't care. I love from dusk till dawn. And uh, I don't know, I'm I'm also upset that Peggy hasn't really done anything this game yet. I, I prepared jokes. Something That's happened. Your first mistake for preparing. Uh, it prepares a strong word. I considered jokes. Um, so Kauru wins immunity. So that's cool. Good for good for him. He has to, we have to hold a pole. I don't know. I was really hoping it'd be something involving holding hands, but here we are. 
What I'm just upset about is we never had a moment between Kaoru and Shinji, which means that this is just as bad as like the um, Netflix remake of Evangelion at this point. We really need to gay this up, guys. Well, like how much better is Kaoru's life without Shinji, though? I don't know. I mean, everyone's life is better without Shinji. It's true. Okay, Bobby's continuing to bond with Masoto. He's getting them anime titties. Why, why do you keep pronouncing it Misoto and not Misato? Because uh, I'm white. <laughs> you know, it's hard to refute that. Yeah, it really is. So, wait, it's just, yeah, I don't know why I'm doing it. Misato. Okay, so, Bobby's bond with her. Any any theories besides my own? I, I got nothing. Okay, mm-hmm. cool. Checks out. I, I think that, quite honestly, Bobby has been playing couch therapist for Masato for quite a while throughout this game, and mm-hmm. she's never had anybody listen to her for longer than about two minutes. That checks out. I, I think Bobby would actually make a decent therapist. And he's, yeah, just, exactly. he's just happy a girl's talking to him, too. Like, this is great. Lord help us if Bobby reads Freud. <laughs> Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Freud must be kept away from Bobby at all costs. Uh, Khan impresses the rest of the team. Obviously, it's the mullet moving on. No, Mitsuko... it's the fake chest. He took off the fake chest and showed what was underneath. No, he, why would he do that? He needs to maintain dominance. He can't let them know. Unless showing weakness is the ultimate form of dominance. It is. Uh, so Ritsuko and Truck have a major fight. Like, is she, is she trying to talk about these new Teslas and Electra vehicles. <laughs> yeah, she got a new Tesla. Yeah, she got a model. Uh, X? Model Y. No, what's the what's the car? The truck. She she got the truck before release. The cyber truck. She, yeah. She she wanted to know why Truckoon couldn't play Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven. Truck couldn't. Hey hey. To be fair. We have installed a PS1 with LCD screen into Truck Coon. He can play Rayman and Which Simpsons Wrestling and Crash Bandicoot. Have you guys yeah. seen the uh, PS1 version of, Cyber- of Cyberpunk? Uh, it probably runs that. better than the PS4 version. I assume that it would does. Just, I assume that would just be Deus Ex. Yeah, anyway. probably. Cool. We got Bill Dale, Liebert, Truck. Boom. Yes. With one loyalty. God, it's bad. But, you know, Dale needs it. Like, Bill, Dale, and Lady Bird were all unaligned. Anything to keep them alive. <sighs> I Maybe it's Peggy this time? I don't know. Could be. I just find it interesting, because Truck used to be so good at, like, buddying up to people. And now he's just, like, just... A- he just doesn't want to put up with them anymore. No, nah, tr- I think it's going to be a Ritsuko. You think it's Ritsuko? Yeah. Um, I mean, the, so you think the magic school... No, here's the thing, though. Truck is now aligned with, like, seven people. So presumably he's keeping the target off of Ritsuko because he's aligned with her. I don't know. Let's go with it. Um, yeah. Hank uses his idol. Oh. Oh, mm. Oh, boy. And received one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh. eight votes. So and then Bill hate? went home. Ah. It's always nice to see the Q people sent home. Yeah, so Bobby, Hank, and Khan voted out Bill. So they have That's what he gets for leaving hairspray. Yeah, so they have successfully utilized their first idol. They have two left. Are we counting the legacy advantage? Uh, no, that doesn't really... They don't have that. Oh. I thought Bill had that. No, D- Dale, sorry. Bobby, Hank, and Khan collectively had three idols. Oh, that's right. Sorry. Yeah. Getting mixed mm-hmm. up. So, yeah, the, the Hairspray Alliance is just idol city. But um, yeah, truck truck just got hit. It's a clear Bobby v truck game right now, where Bobby has Peggy, Hank, and Khan, and truck has Kaoru, Ritsuko, Lady Bird, and Dale. So five v four. 
with uh, Misato in the middle. But bonding with Bobby because he's her couch therapist. And Ritsuko wins immunity. She does a puzzle. I'm proud of her. Bobby gets in a fight with his dad. Oh. Mo. What is it? What happened? Did Bobby try to oh. stand up on the island again? That or he tried he tried to he wanted his steak medium. Oh, or no. Medium well done. He asked for ketchup with it. Oh, even worse. The worst. And uh, he has abandoned his mother. <laughs> Peggy's all alone. This is a big day for Bobby. Yeah. Okay, but as far as ketchup goes, Whole Foods has a really nice curry ketchup that actually probably would be good with steak. Back! It's back! It's just great, great. That's lovely. And Bobby has formed a new alliance that has Peggy in it, but it also has Kauru. Guys. <sighs> I you know what Peggy's was... paddle says on the other side? Dazed and confused? Yowie. Oh. Oh, no. Please, no. It's happening. You guys <laughs> thought Isabel was bad at the fanfic shipping, but you haven't met paddling Yowie Peggy Hill. Right, I haven't. This is what I, I hope you never. I mean, should we just call that alliance child abuse? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Anyway, someone's going home. Why is it not? Give me a reason why it's not Masada. Because I don't know. They went for Hank. They might as well go again. Yep. That's, okay. That's the reason. Because Masada's one of the boys. Dale gets the first vote. Hank, Hank, Dale, Dale, Hank, Dale, Hank, Hank. Yeah, you're right. Aww. They just went for Hank again. I mean, it's smart. Yeah. It worked. Wow, some of the heavy hitters from King of the Hill are already gone. Yeah. So, I mean, and Hank made it to the final four last time he played, too. So he's not bad at anime Survivor. But uh, So we think. Him, Bobby, Khan, and Masato, yeah, voted for Dale. But uh, it's getting... I feel like Truck is really starting to establish dominance on this tribe, though. Yes. Yes, Truck! No. The good news, though, is uh, look at Truck's loyalty. <laughs> yeah. So it could all fall apart at their moments. Notice. It's a two. So is Bobby's, to be fair. So Truck wins a reward, and he shells it with Dale, Kauru, and Masoto. They each bring a loved one to camp. Andrew, who does Truck Coon bring to camp? Ooh. I don't know. Good answer. I think Dale brings Nancy, but she is too busy getting a uh, massage from John Redcorn, so he just gets a pack of smokes. All right, Max. I, I think Truck Coon brought just some gas station mechanic to give him a tune up. <laughs> Co Coops from uh, Megas XLR comes in and gives him a tune up. Yeah. Yeah. Blake. What a great show. What a great Megas XLR. Yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah, man. I still have like my torrent of it that I downloaded from like 2006. On it's, so hard to get, it's so hard to get the don't have DVDs, DVDs for that one. Huh? They don't have so, DVDs. Yeah, they don't. That's part of the problem. Yeah. They never released it. Otherwise, so I, don't feel I don't bad about it. downloading it. Yeah, same. Anyway, uh, Blake, what's what's Kauru up to? Who's his loved one? Blake, did you watch the Netflix version or did you watch the not Netflix version? He, he watched the original. OK, I also I also think he's gone right now. Oh, so in that case, Blake? Gary, Blake, have to be funny. Blake, <laughs> Gary. Yes. What is Kauru doing? Who, who's his loved one? Uh, well, obviously he loves no one, so. D Donald, do you have a, 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 a advice for that? Um, I, I think it rhymes with the Benji Bikari or something. 
Bakari Sellers. I Not Lilith. <laughs> Not just going to go straight to the source. Why would he want to fuck his mom? <laughs> it, it's Evangelion. That's what it's all about. I know. I, you, 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 you're tempted to fuck your mom figures, but you're actually actual mom. Okay. So I had to step away for a moment. What's the question here? We were trying to figure out who Kaoru's loved one was. Oh. I mean, that's easy. It's still Shinji. He brought Shinji back. Fine. And Masoto's is a wine box. <laughs> no, it, it's an entire barrel of, of Yabisu. Yeah. Deluxe barrel. Checks out. Truck wins immunity. God damn it. Yay. Choo choo. Who's getting run over today? <laughs> uh, maybe Khan. They're in a fight. Uh oh. Over what? Khan, Khan commented on the inferiority of his diesel diesel engine mixture. Mm -hmm. Or he tried to he tried to badmouth Coop. Well, I mean, yeah, that would be true. But Chuck's so upset he's abandoned Dale and Ladybird. Yeah, Khan offered to uh, to you know give him an upgrade to electric as like kind of like a backhanded compliment. I mean, yeah. to be fair, we we've the the rules remains. If we ever have a game where Truckcoon and Tom Steyer form an alliance, Truckcoon will be converted to an electric engine. It just hasn't happened yet. Will it be funded entirely by oil money, though? Definitely. No, it will be funded entirely by GameStop stock profits. <laughs> Power to the players. No, that's that's only if uh, Elon Musk and Truckcoon form an alliance. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised we haven't had Elon Musk on at some point now that I think about it. We don't hate ourselves. True. I mean, Everybody do hate Elon. Huh? You know, he's a regular emerald in the rough. <laughs> he's a regular chaos emerald. <sighs> Who? So, I, I'm trying to remember. Everybody's person is still here, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, okay. Misato's here. Okay, yeah, you were Misato. I'm Dale. I, I I can't remember anymore. I know Andrew's truck. Uh, Gary's con, and Blake. Were you Kauru? Uh, I was Kauru. Yeah, I had to move I, over there. I did it. I'm you so proud it. of myself. You remember I basic it. names. I'm so. I'm, hey, man. There's a lot going on. And you said Kauru correctly. I, I'm proud of myself again. I'm. It, it's now, been a lot today. Now say Misato. Misato. There we go. Did it. You. I mean, I mean, I got voted out of the server game I was playing. That was a lot of work, so I'm just tired. Congratulations, you will receive a yellow belt. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> anyway. Um, no idol again. Someone's going home. Ladybird. I Ladybird. Fuck it. Why not? Sure. I'm Can't be truck. truck so I'm happy. Movie. Yeah. Dale, Masato, Dale, Masato, Dale, Dale. Oh. No! Pocket, the pocket sand failed us. Dale. He ran out of, he ran out of sand. Fed up with pocket sand. <laughs> it's finally over. It's just him and Ladybird, man. The county supervisor built up a sand tolerance. <laughs> yeah. I mean, eventually, there's everybody's just going to have all sand in their eyes. Okay. I'm I'm absconding to Team Bobby Hill. He brought his go goggles. God damn it. This isn't Hoenn. Even though there's so much water. So much water. Anyway, so yeah, I I I'm I'm on Team Bobby now. But um what's shocking is like Ladybird and Truck are are remaining returning players. They're not the good ones. Asuka and Hank were the good ones. <sighs> Truck is a mid-tier player, and Ladybird is trash. But here Truck we are. Maybe may be mid-tier, but he sure is full size. <laughs> I hate you. I hate everything about you. 
God, Bobby and Khan are broing it out, though. And then, yeah, Ka- Kaoru's actually Khan's like what Bobby hopes to be someday. Yeah, like Khan's already shown Bobby how to create a fake six pack, a fake chest plate and get a fake mullet. Yeah, those are all important. So I, I think at this point, we've actually hit the, the point in the game where it's no longer Bobby versus truck. It's now Bobby versus Kaoru. Mm. Where Bobby has Khan and Kaoru has Ritsuko and truck as their side pieces. Mm-hmm. But they're working together with Paddlin Peggy Hill. Oh, well, yeah. Kaoru ultimately holds Bobby responsible for Shinji's departure. Why? Bobby wasn't there. Yeah, but Kaoru is also a neurotic mess and not a human, so it's it's very complicated. That's fair. Uh, Ritsuko wins immunity. And uh, Bobby and Kaoru get in a fight. Uh-oh. Do you, do you think Bobby pulled on Netflix and said no homo? No, I think I think Kaoru just keeps misunderstanding Bobby's self-pity, sulkiness, and overall sadness as an attempt to flirt with him. And he's like, no, I've saved myself for Shinji. Please stop. That's fair. I mean, but Shinji's gone. And yeah, but Kaoru's got Peggy on the tribe. He can kill Sh- kill Bobby's mom so Bobby can become the new Shinji. This isn't hard. No, but he, he, he here's the thing. We didn't... These characters know that when this is over, they go back to their normal lives. He knows Shinji's waiting there for him. It's true. Like, Shinji keeps sending him text messages of just his wrists. It's gross. <laughs> and Truck is impressing the rest of the team. It's yeah, those truck. donuts he's doing on the beach. <laughs> okay. It's the four-wheel drive. <laughs> yeah. He just drove over you know, a tree to get uh, coconuts for everyone. He's a kind somehow, of tree. Somehow truck Coon created a sandcastle, yet he does not have arms and no one understands how. Yeah. <laughs> It's fair. And then uh, Bobby has abandoned Kaoru. So it's I think it's over. This is Kaoru's game. So unless good. like unless Bobby and Khan can really fuck this shit up. Kaoru's got a lot of power now. Because he's allied with Peggy and Ritsuko and truck So it's Bobby and Khan versus Kaoru, Peggy, Ritsuko, truck with Ladybird and Misato in the middle. Masato. And I mean, Bobby has been providing Masato therapy lately, but it, she hasn't, they haven't had a session in a while, so I don't know what's going to happen. So, with that, I think Lady Bird goes home. That is yeah. my guess. Oh, I guess you're just probably right. Okay. Also, I think, I think we need to credit Pocket Man in chat for uh, providing legitimate analysis. <laughs> And that truck coon is the reason we still have Evangelion characters because he formed the magic school bus alliance, which caused King of the Hill to cannibalize itself. Yeah. Which is, uh, thank you. Good analysis. Congratulations. Better than what we're doing, that's for sure. It really is. So, when are we I having should... the guest episode with so... them on? <laughs> Never. Wait, wait, wait. Did we pick who's going home? I, I said Lady Bird arbitrarily. Do you have a guess? Um, well, you know, I'm going to say it's going to be Kaoru because everyone's going to betray him. But he's got so many friends. Yeah, but if you look at his face, all these people were lying to him. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> okay. Truck. Masato, Ladybird, Jesus, fucking three targets. It's a lot of targets, boys. Stand firm, Major. Huh? Stand firm, Major Katsuragi. <laughs> truck, Katsuragi, truck. One vote left. Yeah. Truck goes home! No! Shit. Yeah! 
Who the fuck the voted for Lady for Bird? Lady Bird. Okay. Uh, Katsuragi. Right, Katsuragi. Um, I am, I am echoing. echoing. <sighs> That's, That's one of you. One of you. Uh, I think I it's too Blake. Blake. I'm using a headset. It shouldn't be through me. Okay. There's no headset involved. My speakers are not near any lines, and I have fiber Wi-Fi, so. Okay. Okay. It's still happening. Oh. You got fiber? You lucky oh, bastard. bastard. Sonic. Dude, I can't even get get fiber from my workplace. I, I think oh. it's Blake. I don't know how it would be me. I don't have any reason for there to be overlap or static. You're just the only person I'm not hear, hearing an echo from. I don't know what to tell you then. Also, I'm not hearing the echo anymore. So, I don't know anything. Whatever. <sighs> Computers just to, like to make you look bad. That's true. That's true. The, the stray vote was Katsuragi, so she voted for Lady Bird. Interesting. See, if she votes out Lady Bird, then they'll, re then they'll open the dog park to Pen Pen. And then Fun Pen Pen pack. can take her for walks. Peggy is still executing Pen Pen Pen's will on the island. Wait, who, <laughs> Peggy is? Yes. Since when? <sighs> Ritzko wins immunity again. God damn it. FYI, she Max, I'm on name. Team Con now. You're on, huh? I'm on Team Con now. Okay, that's fair. Sorry, I'm sorry you lost truck. He's doing I mean, so I'm, good. I'm not, but you know how it is. Andrew, I always knew you would be a eugenicist one day. Oof. So Kaoru gets in a fight with Ritzko. What 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 happened here? Uh, Kaoru said, "I'm not an angel," and Ritzko didn't believe him. <laughs> to be fair, <laughs> she shouldn't. And then uh, Katsuragi gets in a fight with Ritzko as well. Nothing. Nobody. Cool. They're, they're still be they're be they're still beefing over Kaji. That's fair. I mean, he's gone, but who cares? Ritsko has abandoned Kaoru. The Magic School Bus Alliance is dead. So someone's going home. It's not Ritsko. I think it is Kaoru's turn now, actually. Could yeah, with, with, with no bus and, and no Miss Frizzle, how do you survive? Yeah, I mean, yeah, Ka Kaoru's alliances have basically collapsed. Maybe King of the Hill will finally get its shit together and start targeting and Evangelion Arnold. characters Unlikely. again. Carlos and Arnold have eaten a million times already without the bus and Miss Rizzle. Hmm? Uh, oh, I'm, I'm alluding to some Magic School Bus lore. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm, I, I don't remember anything. <laughs> so any guesses besides Kaoru? Let's go. I don't know. No, she has immunity. She's on a street. <laughs> Making a wild card doesn't matter if it makes sense. That's fair. No one plays. God, Bobby's been sitting on that thing. I think Carrie was about to get popped. No. Uh. Yeah. Okay. You're with me. First vote. Does Bobby? Does Bobby know how to play the idol? <laughs> he might not. Let's be honest. <laughs> Lady Bird, <laughs> Lady Bird, Katsuragi, Lady Bird, Katsuragi. One vote left. Who's oh. going home? Lady Bird, Katsuragi. Katsuragi. Great. Where? Oh, Misato blacked out. <laughs> <laughs> She's out of usable Pokemon and alcohol. So Bobby, Bobby and Khan voted with Misato to get rid of Lady Bird. It was not enough. as Lady Bird remains in the game in the final six. And uh, I your can't girl... Say I, predict... I can't say I predicted Ritsko and Kaoru being in the final six. <laughs> you didn't think they'd be the last two Evangelion characters? No. Neither did I. Who, who did you guys think would make it the deepest of the Evangelion characters? Gendo. Gendo, yeah. <laughs> okay. Honestly, I thought Gendo and Pen Pen would go all the way. 
<laughs> That's fair. I, and I'm I'm also disappointed we did not get the promised Ladybird Gendo or uh, sorry, Ladybird Pen Pen Alliance. Max, off screen, you promised to rig the game for that, and I'm a little disappointed. I think I think uh, I told you I would love that alliance. I don't think I, I promised it. I'm just saying we had people pay you off for that, and now they're gonna break our legs. So that's fair. All right, let's, let's go. We're in quarantine. You don't need your legs. Uh, hey, I I do to go sledding, right, Gary? Right. Yeah, it was good sledding. We well, fucked that hell up. You specifically should break. Yeah, you can have a disability and go sledding. It's fine. Yeah, you can lie down on the sled. It's okay. I appreciate just how much of a rally there is to Lady Bird at this point. God, she and here's the thing: Lady Bird has legacy advantage, and we're in the final six, so she's gonna use it. Like she's she's making it to the final five. <laughs> God, this is crazy. Paddle versus hairspray. Ooh, Ritsuko man. wins immunity again. Powered of puzzles, man. Fuck. Okay, so she gets a steak gets dinner a steak. with Con and Peggy. Just, there's, there's so much well, happening. She really only cares about the wine because she, she's a millennial. Uh, yeah. It's canon. She's in her 30s in, in 2015, so she's a millennial. Yep. And, and so it's the wine that really matters. Okay. <laughs> yeah, she uh, left the steak for Con and Peggy. Okay. Bo Bobby does finally bond with his mother. It's just taken, you know, the whole fucking game. <laughs> well, he's now gotten practice as a therapist to really deconstruct her nagging issues. She has so many issues. Like, he finally got her to put the paddle down for a whole 15 seconds. Yeah, I mean... She's just trying to win substitute teacher of the year. It's not his fault. Why do she, you think Bobby's so afraid to play the idol? <laughs> She's going to beat the shit. <laughs> well, didn't we establish that it was, was it an album of the band or was it the entire band that he has? It was all 113 members of BTS. <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, to be fair, he might be afraid of losing them because now he's collecting them. There is. A, yeah, they're like Pokemon. <laughs> Well, they keep reproducing based on this math. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Lady Bird forms an alliance with Peggy Hill. Can we is call it, it old, old Yeller? <laughs> oh, no. Is, or, is Peggy going to take Lady Bird out to the back and just... You know, power would, you know or, now you think about it. Is it Orion and Jolteon and Flareon, they, their, their names kind of look like Korean names. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's oh, good. No. I think we should go down this path for a while. This is a path. <laughs> anyway, one of one of these poor fools is going home. And why isn't it Ladybird? It's no Ladybird has a legacy advantage. It is not Ladybird. That's, that's for saying why isn't gotta it? Gotta catch him, catch him all. Gotta it's not catch him all. Thank you, yes. immunity. Thank you, Andrew, for hearing what I actually said. So Peggy, <laughs> it it might finally be Peggy. I mean. She's yet to win Substitute Teacher of the Year, so she's trash as a human. That's fair. Yeah, let, let's go with Peggy. Why not? Let's see who plays an idol. Ladybird uses her legacy advantage. Bobby plays an idol. Bobby would have received three votes, and Ladybird received three votes. <laughs> so we have a zero Oof. vote tribal council. Oof. What happens then? Uh, this is a tie and a revote. Those in the tie will not revote unless no one received votes on the original vote. Final vote was zero to zero. I think it, it has to be one of these three now. Only Peggy, Kaoru, and Khan can receive votes. This is not good for Peggy or Kaoru. I honestly, I think Khan's going home. Yeah, I think this is the chance to get Khan. Yeah, he he's no. he's going home with an idol in his fucking pocket. They could have advantaged Geddon Kaoru out of the game, but no. First vote, Khan. Kaoru. Kaoru. Khan. Peggy. Oh. Khan is voted out in a 3 2 1 vote. Yeah. Who the fuck voted out Peggy? Bobby. Bobby I mean, could have you? saved Khan. 
Yes, but wouldn't you vote out your mother if it were Peggy? Probably. Ritzko voted with Khan and Bobby. Huh. But that was a weird fucking vote. Well, now that Khan's gone, I'm all in on GameStop. Who's GameStop? Which which uh, character is GameStop? Bobby Hill. Oh, okay. <sighs> so I'm on Bobby. Gary's with Bobby. Uh, Blake is with Kauru. Yep. Andrew, you're with Lady Bird, right? Are no. you telling me Bobby Hill would not? I don't. I'm on, I'm going to go Bobby. Bats. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting the con leftovers here. Yeah. And I will Bobby's stand better below. than everyone Ow. else here. Donald, I forgot who you were for. Uh, oh, yeah, I didn't change my vote after uh, Miss Sato left. Uh, I guess I'm switching to Bobby. Okay. God, I'm all alone. Okay. You are No, it's you and Chat. Oh, yeah, you are all alone. At least Chat's for Lady Bird. Well, I'm used to it. Let's go. Our alliances are Kaoru and Peggy. Why is Peggy in control of this game now? Because she holds the conch. Uh, <laughs> no, because you gave the her the uh, the paddle that says Yaoi, and nobody wants to go near that. Yeah. <laughs> Ritzko She's wins, like, her fucking fourth immunity in a row. Holy shit. Oh, I get it. What? She's an angel. <laughs> <laughs> Cruel substitute Spanish teacher hypothesis. <laughs> this is brutal. Anyway, that that someone's going home. It's not Ritzko. I think it's Bobby's time. As much as I'm rooting for the boy, uh, I'm gonna say Kauru. I'm yeah, gonna say Kauru. Peggy. I want it to be Kauru, but I think it's Bobby. Bobby, Bobby, Kauru, Kauru, Bobby. Bobby goes home in a three to two vote. That's right. His only ally was uh, Ritzko. Well, so we're hello? at the point where if Ritzko wins immunity, she if, if Ritzko doesn't win immunity, she goes home. That's uh, what this is I, at this point. Hasn't that been basically the game for the last four yes, rounds? It has. Ritzko is the Mike Holloway of Anime Survivor. <laughs> he uh, he fucked up the game in the final nine and then went on a strong immunity streak to win. As the dominant alliance couldn't target him, so they just mm -hmm. kept targeting the bottom. It was a bad season, honestly. Uh, don't don't watch season 30. It's kind of shit. Anyway, Peggy's Peggy's in power. Paddling Yowie Peggy Hill and she wins immunity. So. Go. Well, I'm on team Peggy now. OK, so what happened? Oh, yeah, we didn't change. I'm with Lady Bird. I don't give a shit. Ugh, I'll stay with Kauru. Lady Bird it is. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just all unite against Blake. That's kind of where I'm at. I mean, I think, yeah, Ritzko didn't win, so I don't think she's getting through this round. I'll be honest, I feed on the isolation, so this works for me. Perfect. So Lady Bird and Peggy Bond. Whatever. You know, Lady Bird's got a safe word and Peggy knows it. I'll leave it at that. Damn it. Uh, Ritzko impresses the rest of the team. Do you think she also knows Lady Bird's safe word? Uh, I think she just did long division for them, and she's the only one there who can do any form of math. So That works. And then uh, Lady Bird abandons Peggy Hill. Yeah, because Peggy didn't listen to the safe word. It's, it's rude of her. Which opens up this vote a little bit. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's that echo again. Huh? Yeah. It, it it comes and goes. Yes. So uh, Peggy could go home. I think so. 
No, Peggy has immunity. Oh, yeah, she does. You're right. Uh, Kaoru could go home. But, yeah, uh, I think it's between Kaoru and Ritsuko. I don't know. Lady Bird did just abandon Peggy Hill. Well, let's see what so kind of knows? spite that brings up. First about Ritsuko. Kaoru. Ritsuko and Kaoru. We have a tie. Um, they're going to do a revote. Ritsuko, Kaoru. Shockingly, no one changes their mind. So they're going to make fire. Who's better at making fire? A, I mean, a, a in canon geek or a goddamn angel. In canon, Kaoru, but I don't know. It's fair. Uh, Ritzko did not make fire. Oh, a bad day to not bring bring your flint. Yeah, I mean, she got Ladybird to vouch for her, and it just didn't work out. It happens. So we're down to our final three. Kaoru, Ladybird, and Peggy Hill. Uh, That's the final three. I did not expect this outcome. <laughs> no one did. I just, no. I'm, I gotta be honest with you. No matter who wins, I'm still gonna be a little grossed out. Uh, so I honestly think Kaoru is gonna Kaoru's win, gonna but win. I'm on but Team Ladybird. I'll stay with Kaoru, but I don't really want him to win. I feel like that's wrong, but... It's okay. I'm changing my vote to Kaoru. <laughs> yeah, no, Donald, Donald, we will fail if someone joins. <laughs> I, I think want... he understands that. <laughs> Donald. No, I, I know that Kaoru is doomed. Uh, so I just accept it. Okay. Okay. Well, you're just being the hipster where you can't go on the winning team. Uh, loneliness loves company. Let's go. <laughs> All right, Ladybird got a vote, so that's pretty good. Peggy, Kaoru, Kaoru, Peggy, Kaoru, oh, Peggy, out. Kaoru, Peggy, Peggy wins. <laughs> no. Yes. Oh, God. Max, why did you give her the yaoi paddle? This is your fault. This is 100% your fault. They were terrified of her. Yeah. This is like having to vote for a mobster who's got your family in a death vice. Dale was the lone Ladybird vote. Hank didn't even vote for Peggy. <laughs> well, Hank was the fan favorite, though. That's because after this, Hank is going to steal the money and use it for the divorce. God. Who did Hank vote for? I uh, I don't I don't Kaoru. remember. Oh, he Kaoru. voted for Kaoru? Okay, that works. He liked Kaoru's firm handshake. God damn it. <laughs> I wish I could quit you. <laughs> <laughs> Ritsuko winning five... Fucking immunities is insane. That was pretty crazy. I think the angel theory makes it work, though. It's true. What, that Ritsuko's an angel? Yeah, I think that logically fixes a lot of things. Okay. That was just, oh, God. Khan getting idled out. Khan getting voted out with an idol in the final six fucked this game up so hard. A little bit, yeah. We were well, looking and getting medical evac didn't fuck it up either. No, I, I stand by this because our final three would have been Masato, Khan and Bobby, which was such a better final three. <sighs> like, I think we can agree on that. Yeah. yeah. Like <sighs> Khan thought he was safe and he was This is what they took from you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is what Bobby cost us by not switching his vote. Or by voting Peggy instead of Kaoru. Dang it, Bobby! Dang it, Bobby! I'm I'm distraught. What what they don't know is that now Khan is going to methodically hunt them and get them all stranded on Botany Bay. I hope so. Honestly, Con, on Con, a desert planet. Except Bobby, Bo Bobby. Yeah, no, still Bobby. Yeah, sorry, Bobby. Ty voted him out, so Bobby still sucks. But yeah. Uh, oh, does Botany Bay? Does this lead us into our sea shanty and Irish pub rock episode? No, what? we are not doing that. What, Donald? What were you proposing? I would like to know. A, a sea shanty and Irish pub rock episode. What so it's, it's, it's sea shanties versus Irish pub rock. Yeah, I don't so, think we could make what, enough of those anthropomorphized what, for it to be a good episode. What characters would those even be? Uh shit. Uh. It's it's going to be like uh, the contemporary, uh, you know, I, I, Irish pub rock versus like the the 
vaguely anti-capitalist sea shanties of, of, of the early 20th century. I'm hearing we got to workshop it before we can even come with the back yeah. with this idea. Yeah, let's yeah. not. I mean, the the next episode is going to be bad for what it's worth. <laughs> what is the next episode? Board games. Oh, oh, Lord, I'll take sea shanties. Let's do it. You, you don't want to root for terraforming Mars to win, Blake? No, it's... I'd much rather root, I mean... root for Rolly for the Galaxy. I, I'm fine with rooting for terraforming Mars. My problem is anthropomorphizing these board games is going to kind of suck. That's, that's, I mean, hey, we, we kind of pulled it off with the video game consoles. Okay, I'm, but what what if space colony shanties? What I'm okay. hearing is I should just, if I don't do board games, I also don't have to do space shant- sea shanties. Is that correct? <laughs> I, also... Uh, I now I just want shanty to be a planning designation for land use. God damn it! No. Um, maybe we should just do like three random animes. Yeah, just just, just do another actual ep- anime episode of Anime Survivor. Have fun. That would be nice. Could we? Do... I do have an idea for that, Max. But I'm gonna keep this one secret until we at least stop streaming. That's I don't want to let Chad in on it. Well, chat, if you have any anime you want to see characters from in this fucking series, let me know. We'll put them in. It'll be cool. I hate all of you. Have a good night. Please Done streaming don't. now. Fuck off.